Hi Leo, and welcome to your general love reading for May 2022. This reading is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in Leo, and it is a general reading, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. But if you would like a personal reading with me, you can find all that information in the description box. And the roles in this reading can be reversed because it is general. All right, Leo, let's see what is going on with you. First half of May 2022. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, for the situation, we have the Six of Pentacles crossed by the Hermit. Okay, so Virgo energy is showing up. Some of you might be dealing with a Virgo. Um, I feel like you're trying to find some, some balance here. Um, either within yourself or within this connection, just trying to like bring things to a place where everything just feels balanced and fair but i feel like somebody is either isolating or just really keeping to themselves here it could be you it could be them um we'll see for your energy we have the knight of wands death okay so scorpio and the two of wands So yeah, I can see that you were in a space where you probably were not feeling so stable within this connection. Um, there may have been some fluctuations, there may have been some in and out, some hot and cold, either in your behavior towards this person or maybe even just um, in the way that you are handling or coping with whatever the situation is. Um, possibly especially concerning an ending. So it could be that you were um, in and out of um, wanting to end this or in just dealing with, with the ending. And I feel like you're just moving towards this space of, okay, let me just, let me just relax. Let me just take a pause here and think. And kind of, I feel like you're just kind of trying to, you're moving towards riding out the wave. Okay, but at the moment there is some kind of an ending that appears to be coming or you feel like it's coming or it's already happened, but it's like still dealing with it. <clears throat> Let's see for them. We have the four of pentacles, the eight of pentacles and the knight of cups. Okay, so some of you might also be dealing with an earth sign. I feel like we do have quite a bit of pentacles overall in this reading. Um, and we also did have Virgo that showed up. What is going on with this person? I feel like there's some stubbornness um, to this person. Like maybe they were just holding back a lot. And I'm getting like a little bit of an insecurity that this person may have been holding on to either for quite some time or at least in the recent past. They're working on something though here. They're, I feel like they're very focused um, on this Knight of Cups, making some kind of a love offer. I mean, having the Knight of Cups in this position, this is what they're moving towards. And not only that, they're focused on this. Let's see the potential outcome. We have the Knight of Pentacles. So yeah, I feel like things are moving in this direction, um, but maybe a little bit more slowly than you would like. So let's clarify. Let's clarify and get more details here. Let's see this Six of Pentacles with the Hermit. Okay, and we have the Ace of Cups, the Hermit again, and the Empress. Okay, so there's there's a lot of love here, um, that's for sure. Okay, very first clarifying card out, we have the Ace of Cups. So there is definitely love. I feel like there may have been an imbalance when it comes to expressing this love or even just um, contributing 
towards this connection. All right, so one of you is giving more than the other. Um, definitely feeling like somebody here has been in this hermit mode, so possibly even having ghosted or in hiding or just really, really keeping to themselves, even though even though this is a connection that they do want. I feel like this person is seeing you as, as their empress, or if it's the other way around, they're feeling like they are your empress. In other words, that they belong um, to you. Um, but yeah, for some reason, it's like they're, they've been in hiding. All right, so let's see the Knight of Wands for your energy. Four of Pentacles for you as well. And death showing up again. Okay, I see. I feel like you've been holding back on some impulses as well. Um, so, you know, you may have been getting some urges um, to move in a certain direction, but you've been holding back on these urges. And either these urges are stopping or you're trying, you tried to put an end to these urges. Um, and again, these urges, they could have been fluctuating. Like it could have been, um, you know, one day they're there, one day they're not. Um, and, and this could be anything, you know, having an urge to, you know, move towards this person or to move away from this connection or again, I mean, it's, it's fluctuating, whatever it is, you're moving towards a huge transition. I feel like on the one hand, you know, you are holding back from just allowing this to be what it is, allowing it and just have the Knight of Wands flip over again. Um, you, it's like you were holding back from allowing this to be done if it's done. I feel like you don't even know if it's done. You don't really, I don't feel like you really know what's going on here. Um, but it's like you have the urge to move away from, from allowing this to be done. Um, but not anymore though, that's the thing here, let's see. So for death, we have the Three of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Yeah, I feel like you're finally coming coming to this place of being like, okay, you know what, if this is over, I just have to accept that. Um, not, not waiting for a reconciliation here. Um, it, even if you still have feelings for this person, which I feel like you do with that Queen of Cups. Let me see the Two of Wands. Page of Wands and the Magician. <laughs> um, all right, Leo. I feel like, you know, again, it feels like there is a back and forth. Like I, I said, you know, you are, you are trying to accept that this might be done. And it's like, you know, you're just not really putting in so much energy or you're giving up on the urges for a reconciliation. I think that's the best way that I can put it, even though you have feelings for this. Um, but there is this part of you that's still kind of kind of waiting. There is a little bit of waiting here and, and kind of just looking out and being like, you know, maybe this can happen. So I do feel like, I mean, this is definitely under your control. This is what you have to understand. You know, you can choose to go back and forth between these energies but it is under your control. And what is it that's under your control? To release the expectations. That's what's under your control. Just so that, you know, you don't drive yourself crazy going back and forth. All right, let's, let's see what's going on with this person. Let's see this Four of Pentacles. The Lovers and the Four of Cups. So this person, like I said, has been stubbornly holding back. 
either from making a decision concerning love or from from the connection that they feel so much love towards, right? Which we did have that Ace of Cups here. So I do feel like this person definitely does have a lot of love um, or some emotions at, at the very least for you. But there's, there's an insecurity here. There's an insecurity um, either that they're either that they're going to miss out on something or that, you know, what if I don't find happiness or there's something. But whatever the case is, this person is not happy at the moment by holding back. Let me see the Eight of Pentacles. That could be why um, they're focused on something here. The Ten of Wands and the Eight of Wands. So they're focused on releasing some kind of some kind of a responsibility that they have been carrying or some kind of a burden that they have been carrying for a long time. Um, something that has been weighing heavy on them. I feel like it has to do either with this um, decision here or with the fact that they've been holding back, that they have been in hiding. Because, I mean, with this Eight of Wands, I mean, this is action. This is communication. This is fast-moving energy. So this person is definitely focused on either communicating with you if you have not been in communication. And I do feel like for a lot of you, you haven't been. Or if you have been, it, it's been minimal that this person has been um, keeping to themselves a lot. Um, so they're focused on how they can do that. And I feel like it's, a, it's pretty challenging for them. It's pretty challenging for them. So let's see the Knight of Cups. the two of wands for them and the king of wands. Okay, so yeah, this person is moving towards wanting to come in. I mean, knight of cups. But it's like they're, again, it's, it's like it's a big challenge for them. There's a little bit of hesitation in terms of how how to do this. But with the King of Wands being here, I actually see them being able to overcome these challenges. We do have the Knight of Pentacles though for the potential outcome. So I do feel like this is taking a little bit of, of time. I feel like this person is just focused on overcoming the challenges for coming forward. But that doesn't mean that you should just sit around and wait either, right? Because I feel like that death card, I mean, it showed up twice for you, and it's showing up here for a reason. Um, you, it's like part of your lesson on this path is to be able to accept an ending, even if it's meant to come back. You know, at the present time, though, if it's an ending, it's an ending. All right, so let's see the Knight of Pentacles. And we have the world the Hanged Man, and the Hierophant. Wow, okay, three major Arcana cards here. So there is a, a slow movement, but there is there is movement, okay? Um, definitely with the Hanged Man, I feel like, you know, there there is a lot of assessing that's taking place. There's a lot of thinking that is taking place. It is taking a little bit of time, and this is why you're being asked to process this as an ending, and then, you know, if it comes back, it comes back. And when it does, and then you'll see how you feel then. But the situation is what it is at the moment. And I feel like for a lot of you, you are doing that. That is what you're doing. You are taking that control in your hands. The Hierophant being the very last card out, this is also Taurus energy. Um, this does talk about commitment. And this also does talk about higher learning. So I do feel like there are major, major lessons in all of this for the both of you. But this is definitely something that could lead up to this commitment once this cycle is closed. I feel like a big part of this is you accepting this as an ending before it can even move forward. So, because oftentimes, I mean, that's part of the lesson. I mean, these are really big energies here. All of these cards here are talking about lessons. All of them, even the Knight of Pentacles, the World, the Hanged Man, the Hierophant. 
So yeah, definitely very, very um, deep or strong connection with this person because it's this person is really tied up to lessons for the both of you. So I can see why it can be so difficult to, um, to release because when we're tied up like that with somebody, a connection is so much associated to our lessons. Yeah, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard to let go. All right, Leo, let's see. If this resonated with you, let's get the final message for you. And we have the full moon in Taurus. Your dreams need a practical plan. And I feel like that's exactly what this person is doing, trying to come up with a practical plan. That's even um, represented here with this Knight of Pentacles. There's a practical plan, but it's a plan that is taking some time because it's also dependent on the lessons. And yeah, definitely take this for yourself as well if it resonates to have a practical plan, you know, just for your own self and for your own well-being. All right, Leo, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.